Welcome back to Conscious Evolution. I'm your host, AJ. Please like the video, share, and subscribe. I wanted to do a quick announcement today to let you guys know that we are doing another Reconnective Healing group session with Africa and AJ. We're going to do it this Sunday, May 19th. All right. um, if you're interested in participating, then donate $33 to the PayPal link below, and we will send you the information. I have a few participants already, so I wanted to put it out there and let everybody know that that is still on for this Sunday. And I wanted to share this view with you. I mean, my goodness gracious, look at this. So green and blue and beautiful, right? Wow. I mean, it's just magical out here. It really is. So, yesterday in my video, I talked about the meditation I was doing when I was on my flight at the, uh, you know, cruising elevation for commercial airliners. Do you see that bird back there? He wanted to say hi. I learned some interesting things about birds recently, too. I don't know if you guys are ready for that, though. Anyways, the thing I'm going to share about a bird is when I was on the plane and I was doing my meditation I was seeing a bird like that's cool I was seeing like this giant bird with his wings outstretched it was kind of like a giant bird that was like like fractals of it though you know it was like little little pieces like little pieces of the puzzle but the outline of it looked like a giant bird and I was like flying down the tunnel towards it right so my guide with these elementals sends me a text and she's like they gave you a bird like you got a bird and his name is uh, such and such I don't know if that's information I am at liberty to disclose at this point in time but you know I have a spirit animal now and I know its name, and I think it's here, always, with me. It's freaking fascinating. So then Jessica from It's About Divine Time today is talking about, like, a spirit animal, like a cardinal bird, getting messages from, I guess, the divine or spirit animals. I'm not 100% sure. But, I mean, and I've seen other things with birds, too, in the last 24 hours since posting that, and I've since learned and uh oh last night was crazy i wanted to share this with you too i went outside um you know i got back from the store whatever um and i was going back out to the car to get something and there was a little rabbit right there and it like it didn't run away you know i'd get like 10 feet away from it and it would hop along a little bit so i started recording it and following it i was following it along and it took me into this little patch of woods I mean like slowly led me into the woods so I followed it and I was like are you leading me somewhere or what's going on As a matter of fact it was right oh you can't see my finger it was right back there right in that general area so I went up in there and the Sun was going down it was already kind of dark so I walked around to the other side where you know it's not in the driveway and it's not you know there's nobody around here and you know I went up there and just I just sat there or stood there um, for probably 20 30 minutes I don't know I, I waited for the Sun to be almost completely down like it was dark when I walked out of there so I went up there and I took a couple photos of the area and I took some selfies in the background and I sent it to my guide that's assisting me with these elementals and nature beings and this whole other realm of creatures that I'm being attuned to you could say and she's gonna analyze them and get back to me but she said there's definitely stuff there so I go out there and I know the name of my bird the spirit energy consciousness however you want to look at it i was told that it's going to appear to me in bird form that i will see it as a bird so of course today i've seen a whole bunch of birds and yesterday too 
these birds that seem to be flying around that I don't typically notice. And there's tons of birds out here. You can hear them now. There's just all different kinds of animals. From groundhogs to rabbits to raccoons to foxes. Uh, cats. There's several cats. Uh, spiders. There's freaking millions of spiders out here. I mean, it's the middle of the woods. What do you expect? Um, that's a little too bright. Birds. So many different kinds of birds. Vultures. Buzzards. Hawks. I even seen some eagles out here. Bald eagles. Well, I saw one. Um, mostly hawks. There's a lot of hawks out here. I mean, it's just so many creatures. So many animals. And so peaceful. The deer out here will come up and eat out of your hand. I mean, they come right here. They go right across this yard right here. I have a picture of like 30 of them standing right there. It's pretty fascinating. And who knows what else is out here. That's just what I've seen in the recent times that I've been here. Anyways, so I went out there, followed the rabbit to this location right down the driveway here. And the rabbit like jumped into the bush where I couldn't see it. So I went around to the other side and then it hopped out. So I followed the rabbit around, you know, went back there and I just hung out back there for, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes maybe. So the sun went down and it was right as the sun went down where like all the pink was out of the sky it was all dark there's two rows of trees it's it's kind of like a field it's almost like an apple orchard I feel anyways it's a field there's two parallel rows of trees okay little patches of woods so as the sun was going down I was talking to these you know I was asking if my bird was there asking by name and I didn't see anything. I didn't I didn't hear anything. But I did feel something. I could feel immense love when I asked that question. You know, I was like, you know, are you here? And whatever else I said, I don't really remember, but I was opening a dialogue. And I just felt this energy just absolute love come over me like gave me like the tingles you know give me the tingles all over it was freaking awesome so i sat in that energy for like five minutes and then you know i kept walking a little further and i was just investigating the area i guess and then like so it was very calm there was no no wind no nothing okay let's get a different angle how about that there we go. So now we can see it. So those are the trees right there. So I was on the other side of those trees. And I walked out there. And like I said, the, the absolute unconditional love feeling that I was experiencing there. Uh, you know, I just felt like I was being embraced by, you know, an energy form. You know, a consciousness was just embracing me in love. It was, it was it was magical it was absolutely magical and then as the sun goes down and I really can't see much anything anymore the the row of trees on the other side of the field they all start going like tops of them like a breeze is just slowly going down the row of trees started at one end and went to the other all the way to the end and then there was a slight pause and then it came back it came all the way back up the row I was at and it ended at me it didn't go past to the other trees down here because there's tons of other trees out here it didn't go past it it ended right where I was so it was like a, a round of applause almost if you will that's what I took it for I was like was that for me like are you acknowledging me like that's what it felt like that's what I took it as and that was whew, I'm getting chills right now just talking about it thinking about it it's really quite fascinating this is a magical world that we live in and it's absolutely phenomenal the truth is way stranger than fiction <laughs> way more interesting too I should say 
anyways I just want to tell you guys let you know remind you that Africa and I are doing a group reconnective healing session this Sunday May 19th and if you want to participate donate $33 we'll send you the information and the time for when we're doing it on Sunday so the past couple of weeks has been a phenomenal response we keep doubling our participants every week and you know thank you guys thank all of you for all your your energy exchange donations I really do appreciate them um, you know I even get some that aren't you know particularly for the healing which is phenomenal and thank you because that helps me keep this channel going and keep bringing you this content and I really enjoy doing this so thank you I love each and every one of you be the change that you want to see in this life and if you have any questions I just want to talk to a like-minded individual feel free to email me feel free to, to send me any pictures you may have of any kind of orbs or interesting things you know whatever it is you know I, I want to see it all I love that stuff I love all that stuff I uh, you wouldn't believe the amount of orb pictures I got and the little I guess what I would call elemental beings or fairies or whatever you know like you wouldn't believe the pictures I'm getting it's it's absolutely fascinating so thank you for everyone who's been sending me pictures uh, if you did send me something I didn't get back to you I'm sorry uh, I'm getting great responses from the emails, so I will get back to you in due time oh do please keep sending them I really do appreciate it again I love each and every one of you be the change that you want to see in this world and if you have any questions shoot me an email Okay, bye-bye.